morning, ladies and gentlemen. Timing. Delivery. Oh, maybe not. Just a quite large lorry pulling up. Yeah, no delivery, my bad. Well, here's what we've come for today, as you can see. Marquee. Large gutter kind of thing down one side there to catch the drips from the wall. And unfortunately, it's still a little bit drafty. The lads have got to come back and do another job or two. I need to trim these triffids back a touch. And there's another door to go on over here. So it is a little bit drafty. But uh, yeah, the marquee, you probably can't tell there's fairy lights in there as well. The marquee is up for the winter. Still gives us a little bit more space for COVID, I guess, as well as increasing our seating space throughout the cold months. Otherwise, nobody's going to be using the outdoor area. Am I going to heat it under the current climate of exorbitant and extremely high um, electricity and gas bills? Probably not, unless I absolutely have to put a coat on, wear a poncho. I'm sure there's something we can do to mitigate the cold without costing us an absolute fortune in electricity and well if we've got the trees blowing around like that inside the marquee I don't think there's much point in heating it at all do you so we'll wait until it's completely finished but my job today is to install some more lights off this 110 volt box here these are the ones we put them up last year and it went up actually the marquee went up a week a year and a week ago so we're a week later this year putting the marquee up and wow hasn't that year gone quick I'd like to say it's been wonderfully profitable and uh, exciting times for trading in the hospitality industry but of course we all know that it hasn't been and we've had a right mare of it and it's been a battle every single step of the way to try and keep this place going through no fault of our own, I'd like to say as well. It has been all extenuating circumstances, rising gas bills, rising uh, staffing costs, lack of suitable staff, we're struggling to find staff, um, rising product costs, rising raw material costs for the brewery, for our own products, everything is going through the roof, rising utility costs, rising delivery charges. The only thing that's not rising is the price of our beer, funnily enough. So unfortunately, that's gonna to have to at some point. But let's not put a downer on today. It's Monday, I feel refreshed from a fantastic week away with Gemma, Tom and Abby in York. And uh, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. So let's get to work. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? We've got the fairy lights up. Not the fairy lights, the uh, low voltage lights, the fairy lights have been up all along. So I've managed to strap them in there and we've got a strap going through like a velcro joint in this um, sheeting that they've hung up with the fairy lights in then right up to the ridge in the top centre and then back down this side and then down to the 110 volt transformer on the deck. And I think it looks rather effective. So the next job I've got to do is relocate one of the CCTV cameras back onto this wall. This is where we had it last year. In fact, the same holes are in the frame. So it means we've got the same frame. So he's just there at the, at the moment. I just need to loosen that off with an Allen key, twist it, rotate it, just to get the proper view. And then we get like a snapshot of people walking in and out of this door and uh, hopefully from here that will be the kind of view that we get being able to fit pretty much everything in like that kind of and you can see who's out here you see all the trouble causers and all the sexy ladies Ooh, cheeky so marquee finished We've just uh, received, I'll move all this, I'll move the bills, the poster's just arrived by the way, 
So we've got our plum natural essence for some plum porter for Christmas. You don't want to miss out on that, boys. Harrisonsbrewery.com forward slash shop. Get your orders in for the Christmas boxes. Oh, we can't ship the advent calendars, by the way, which is slightly bad news. But you can order the beers just in a box on their own without the advent calendar box. Anywho, look what I've got. I hope this person doesn't mind, Sean, I hope he doesn't mind me publishing this little letter that he sent. He's been watching the YouTube channel for a couple of years now with great enjoyment. He's improved his brewing skills no end. But he's building a new house, so his kit's been in storage during lockdown. During this time, he's been bored, and he was re-watching re some of my vlogs and saw the soap-making one I did, which got me thinking. I hope you and the family enjoy these soaps by way of a thank you for turning another hobby into an obsession. Keep the vlogs coming. I will try my best, Sean. Thank you very much for sending these out. Look at this. Aren't I a lucky boy? So we've got... In no particular order, cinnamon gel, a cinnamon coffee and paprika soap, black carbon, charcoal, eucalyptus, frankincense, all oh, very Christmassy, and lavender soap, eye candy, which is peppermint, raspberry and shea butter, tickle me pink, which is raspberry and almond milk, and then bramble and boo, coconut milk and honey soap which does exactly what it says on the tin made in scotland here's his calling card boys and girls so have a look on etsy bramble and boo shop and uh, oh, go and buy some soaps i feel really quite pleased that these have been sent out thank you very much sean i'll enjoy using them and i'm sure i'll smell like a tart handbag well, I think I'm about done, boys and girls. That's going to wrap it up for me. And uh, yeah, I'll probably just tidy the workshop up a little bit, maybe, if I feel like it. But I'm going to go home. It's an early one today because tomorrow is a big brew day. Brand new beer, which I've never made before. But you should tune in because it's exciting. I'll share the recipe as well. It's got Vic Secret and El Dorado hops in there. Big juicy neeper. Should be, should be good. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.